All right, let's uh let's take a look here at the the hot news of the day. This is the hot one. This is the the big stuff happening right now. This is what everyone is excited for. Everyone's freaking out over here. We got the confirmation. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got the confirmation today that Ewan McGregor is back as Obi-Wan Kenobi in a series for Disney Plus. Now, when I said when I said in my video that Disney Plus will make Star Wars great again, this is what I was talking about. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Because last year, when Solo dropped, everyone wanted to know about the, the Obi-Wan movie. More people were like, is James, you know, who's going to do a Western version of an Obi-Wan movie? And then we hear James Mangold's going to be directing like Boba Fett, which is like, okay, cool. But we'd all kind of prefer the Obi-Wan because Logan and the Western setting and everything else, right? But this is going to be giving fans what they want because fans have been asking for this. So we don't know much yet, but it's it's here. It's a reality. And I'm pretty happy about that. Now, this is coming from uh, Deadline has confirmed. I love that word confirmed. Ooh, just makes my nips, my nips so nipply. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that Ewan McGregor is set to reprise his roles. Obi-Wan Kenobi in a yet to be titled Disney Plus series. Details are being kept under wraps. Going on to say that earlier this year, there were rumblings of a possible Obi-Wan Kenobi series coming together for Disney+. Plus. Word on the street was that the series came together from an idea that was originally intended to be a movie. But after Solo, a Star Wars story ended up being a disappointment, Disney and Lucasfilm thought a series was a little less risky. Now those rumors have circled back around with a new report indicating that Ewan McGregor has signed on to star in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which makes us think that an announcement at D22 or D23 is going to be expected. And I completely agree. I completely agree with that one. And then I get, I get it that Solo ended up getting, you know, so let's be fair. Solo is a fun, it's a fun movie. It's a fun, it's maybe not the best, but it's a fun movie. You can get into it, you know? And it's like, but it failed. It did 400 million worldwide. They expected at least 1 billion. It didn't get there. Should have been a winter release. It really should have been. I think it would have done better if it wasn't like up against Deadpool the week before it. Uh, same with Deadpool 2 doing better with that. Anyway. And then they, they got skittish. But let me ask you guys this. Is it worse or better to have a television series? Because with a movie, it's like two hours, right? Two hours. But with a show... That's like, that's like six to eight hours, maybe 10 hours. We get more, we get to stretch these things out. We get more character development, more depth, more mythology, more history, better characters. I think Star Wars always would have been better on television. The movies are great for like what they are. And I'm not deriding the films except for The Last Jedi because, you know, screw it. But giving us a television show to expand everything, I think is going to be a lot better. Now, Cinelink's here. Uh, had the latest update on the possible series. And they said that, that they're not the kind of site to come up with the scoop, but they were doing the due diligence and they have two separate sources to back the claim. So, I mean, I mean look, this is all kind of over, over thing as, as it is, right? Well, this is really, at this point now, with, with the deadline confirming it, everything else is kind of moot. Doesn't matter. No one cares. But I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this because I still remember when I heard that Ewan McGregor was cast as Obi-Wan Kenobi because I had seen him in train spotting and a few other things. I think I saw him in and I was like, man, yeah, I like this guy. And then, you know, but I've always loved Sir Alec Guinness. I've always loved Obi-Wan. And can he play the young version of him? And you watch the Phantom Menace and he's, you know, the apprentice. Like, yes. Yeah. He did a good job. But then you get into it a bit more, right? By the time Attack of the Clones comes around. And you're like, all right, he's kind of coming into it. You know, he's an older, more mature Obi-Wan. He's still a bit of a stickler. Right. But he's, 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 you know, he works, he, he does, he's a good character. And then you get to revenge of the Sith and all of a sudden it's full on hello there. And that's good stuff, right? Like that's good stuff. And, and it's great. And you know what? Talk all the crap about the prequels you want. Everyone loved Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan. And even in the Clone Wars animated show, even though it wasn't Ewan McGregor voicing him, a lot of people liked the character, meaning that and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use, I'm going to invoke the name. One of my friends are going to hate this, but I'm going to invoke the name Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni brought this guy to life, helped bring this guy to life, I think, and really fleshed out the character in a way that it was wonderful to a lot of fans. 
Now, what I'm expecting, my predictions, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's going to be an eight part limited event series. Not going to be a full on TV show, but a limited event series that's going to have Obi-Wan probably on Tatooine dealing with some Tusken Raider shit, probably. And something that's going to need to happen. He's going to have to come out of hiding and do some stuff. And I think it's going to be written and produced by not only Dave Filoni, but John Favreau. I think they're going to, I think Favreau coming off of everything is going to, uh, because, you know, hey, Lion King grossed another, you know, it's one point. Uh, one, 1. 1.3 billion, I think at this point. And, uh, you know, that one is going to do great. So I think, I think they gave him all the clout and I think, I think it's going to be Favreau Filoni. That's what I'm saying. I think they're going to be running a lot of this stuff. I could be wrong. I don't know. We're going to find out more when we find out more, hopefully next week in D23. But as a Star Wars fan, as a long time Star Wars fan, I absolutely positively love this news. And I hope you guys do too.